Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about the conversion of CSV file to JSON file having hierarchy and array using Dataflow activity in Data Factory. Okay, so here is the input data set which is CSV and having these columns. Okay, in the output, we want to club these two columns title and name as one which will be named as details where title and name will be present so this will create the hierarchy then for the skills column skill 1 2 3 we want to make an array skills array we will name that column as skills array and it will have the array of skills so these two changes hierarchy and array will be present in the output JSON file. So when the output is created, this is how it looks like. Okay. Or if you want to view it like the structure, proper structure with hierarchy and array. So for the ID one, this is the JSON and for the ID two, this is the JSON. Okay. So let's go to the data factory and implement it. So let's go here and in the storage account inside the test input folder I've already placed this file sample csv dot csv where we have this csv data the input data set present so in the data factory we'll go and create a new pipeline we'll name it as csv to json we'll take the data flow activity and we'll name the data flow as CSV to JSON and we'll connect to the source. The source, as I said, will be inside the test input folder inside the Gen2 account. So let's add the source. In the source settings, we have to connect to the data set. Click on new Gen2 storage account CSV link service already there file path will be the test input folder and the file name is sample csv dot csv click ok first row has header input schema none click ok let's go to the data preview and preview the data so in order to preview the data we have to enable the data flow debug option let's enable it and wait for the cluster to get ready so the data flow debug is enabled. Let's click on refresh to fetch the data. So here's the data. All the columns appeared. Our next job is to create that hierarchy and array, which will be done by the derived column transformation. So right after this source, we will add derived column transformation. So click on the plus sign and derived column comes under the schema modifier section. Click on derived column. And here in the derived column settings, we can create those columns. So if we go back to the Excel, we can see that we are going to club title and name together as details. Okay. So here we'll name the column as details. Details. And we'll go and type the expression here. Okay. So here in the expression, we have this column shown. Okay. And inside this column, we have to add the columns title and name. Okay. And here you could see that the input schema is not appearing. So we'll go back, cancel, and we'll go to the source, go to the projection and import the projection first. After the projection is imported, then in the derived column, inside the expression builder, we could see inside the input schema, the columns coming from the source. Okay. So yeah, here at the source level, you could see that the projection is now imported. We'll go back to the derived column and open the expression builder here. Now inside the input schema, we could see all the columns which are coming from the source. Okay. So we have this new column. We will click on the plus sign next to this column and add a sub column. Okay. Sub column means a column inside this column. Okay. So if we click on the plus sign, we can add the two columns which is add sub column. First column will be 
title click here again add a sub column this will be name okay because here we have title and name under details this is done okay and here it shows error so what we do is here title is equals to which title which is coming from the source so we'll click on title here and name will be the name column which is coming from the source so we click name here now we click on save and finish okay if we go again back here we could see and the details title and name is added as sub column so after equals to you just have to select the column which are coming from the source so it will not throw error in the expression okay now save and finish this is done next is we have to create array if we go back here we have skills array okay so if we go back to the expression builder and here itself we can add a new column and this new column will be named as skills array okay and in the expression we have a function called array okay if we click here it says creates an array of items all the items should be of the same type if no items are specified it is defaulted to array of string type so here we have to give the items inside it and the items in our case of skills will be skill 1 skill 2 skill 3 so select skill 1 comma skill 2 comma skill 3 okay now save and finish so we have created details and skills array now we'll go to the data preview of the derived column transformation to preview the data so here comes the data all the columns which are coming from the source and here is the new hierarchy column details which is having title and name and skills array array is denoted by this square brackets and the hierarchy is shown by the curly braces for the details column okay next job is to land it into the output so we'll click on the plus sign and we'll attach the sync and connect to the data set so let's land it into the same storage account as json we have to land right so we'll select the format type of data as json click continue link service we already have for the storage account we'll browse to the file path this time we want to land it in test output folder our source file was in test input now we want to land it in test output folder click okay import schema none click okay so this is done if we go to the second tab of the sync setting it is giving us the file name option so we'll click here and we want it to be landed as a single file so output to single file which will enable the set single partition on and here we want to give the output file name okay so we'll write it as sample json output dot json okay so this we have given we can go to the data preview and click on refresh so here we can see the data which is created through derived column transformation now here we have the tab at the sync level as mapping tab so here itself if we do not want these extra column bits we have all these three column skills one skill two skill three under the skills array and title and name under the details column we can remove these columns and this we can do directly at the sync level through the mapping tab we will here disable auto mapping and from here input and output columns we can click on delete so what we want in our case we want id first okay and then we don't want the title because the title comes under the details so we'll just click on delete for the title for the name age and org we want skill 1 2 3 we don't want so click delete 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 okay so id age org details and skills array if we go here here we have id details org age so we can change the order also so let's make it we'll just drag and drop so id then comes details age org and age so we will change this to org first and then age 
and skills array okay if we go here from the drop down we can select a skills array okay so it will show the symbol properly right it is showing us the braces properly curly braces and the skills array it shows square braces okay so this is the setting is done properly through the mapping step of the sync now we can go to the data preview and again try to refresh and see how the data looks in the output so here comes id then the details org age and skills array if you click on here you could see the array having the values okay for the first row and for the second row okay now let's validate the mapping let's go to the pipeline and perform a debug run so the data flow is in progress so the data flow succeeded we'll go to the test output folder to see the file let's first go to the data flow and see and see the name of the file so it was sample json output dot json so here is the test output folder open let's click on refresh and here we could see sample json output dot json now created if we try to review it we could see the details right id details having title and name org age as is then skills array is created right if we copy this data and paste it in notepad and then take the first occurrence okay and try to preview it online view json online if you click on view json online you will get multiple links okay let's open one of the link and we'll try to pre paste the data here and beautify it so what happens is that it will create the proper json structure where you can preview the data with the objects okay which are present inside the json okay so this is having id details is having two sub objects then comes org age and skills is an array which is having again three objects so we can here click on the tree mode and it will show you the json tree okay so this is how we can convert a simple csv to json file in data factory using the data flow activity where the major role is of derived column transformation we should know how we can create those extra columns to create array and hierarchy using the functions in derived column transformation so thank you for watching the video happy learning bye